Let's listen in. Key number seven, the key of referring your conflict to the courts of heaven. In other words, there is conflict. But you have decided that you are going to allow God to rule concerning the conflict. You must be a very spiritual person to be able to use this key. The reason is that when you try and use this key, it will be by faith. There will be nothing visible for you to know that God has taken your case into his hands and is working on it. What you need to do is just to believe in the scriptures. Allowing the courts of heaven to rule in the conflict. You know, one thing that people forget is that God is a judge. In Hebrews chapter 12 verse 22, the Bible says, We have come to Mount Zion, the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to an innumerable company of angels. So here the Bible is talking about the believer, that when you become born again spiritually, you are transported into the kingdom of his dear son, which means spiritually, now you are a citizen of another country. Then in verse 23, Hebrews chapter 12, verse 23, it continues to talk about other things about the spiritual kingdom where God rules. And it says, you have come to God, the judge of all. You know, one thing that we fail to realize sometimes is that God is a judge. He's the judge of all. In Hebrews chapter 9 verse 27, the Bible says, It is appointed once unto men to die, but after this, the judgment. God is not judged just in eternity when we die. He is also judged on the earth. So God is a judge. But the question is, do you believe it? When you have a conflict with somebody, you can decide to refer your case to this judge. But most of the time, people think that God is an ineffective judge. One day, somebody said to me, he said, God has become too soft. That's what he said to me. So people believe that God is not a good judge. If you leave things into his hand, he won't do anything about it. In fact, you'll be more treated and nothing will happen. That's the idea that people have. But you know, in the Bible, there was a king called Nebuchadnezzar. A very wicked king. And one day, God decided to judge him. In Daniel chapter 4 verse 16, he was judged by God. God said, let a man's heart be taken from him. Then he said, and give him the heart of a beast till seven times will pass over him. In other words, God said, okay, if this man won't change, as the judge of all, I have decided to turn him into an animal. He said, I'm going to take away the heart of a man and I will give him the heart of an animal and he will behave like an animal for seven years. That's why he said, let seven times pass over him. Seven times means seven years. Then in verse 17, he said, this matter is by the decree of the watchers. And by the word, by the intent of the holy ones. That the living may know that the most high God ruleth in the affairs of men. Then Daniel told him, God is going to use you as an example to show the world that there is a God. And do you know what? The man became mad for seven years. After seven years, he came back to his senses and he repented. When God speaks to you with words and you don't respond, you begin to speak by plagues. That's the dangerous part. So, we learn a lesson from this that sometimes you are exploiting people sometimes you are just destroying people because maybe they can't do anything about it but the bible says there is a judge who rules in the affairs of men and his name 